Hey guys, today we're going to compare the Beats Studio Buds Plus to the AirPods Pro 2. Both are from Apple, but the Studio is positioned as a more affordable option compared to the AirPods Pro 2. Still, being from the same brand, you can expect the same level of features and functionality from the Beats compared to the AirPods, right? Right? Well, not really. We're going to talk about that and we're also going to compare their sound, noise cancelling and call quality. So as usual, put on your earbuds because we're going to listen to some binaural sound samples. And this is the best way to hear all the details. I've included links to their Amazon pages in the description if you want to check their latest prices. And for more comparisons like this one, get subscribed and tap the bell button to stay notified. We'll be talking about areas where I prefer the AirPods Pro 2, but first, some areas where I prefer the Beats. In terms of fit, I do feel that the Studio Buds Plus fits more snugly, and compared to the AirPods, they do seem more suitable for workouts because of that. They also have better compatibility with Android devices because they support things like Google Fast Pair and the Beats app, which lets you update its firmware and customize its settings on Android, something that's simply not possible on the AirPods Pro 2. But if you're on iOS, there are many reasons why you can't really get a better experience than the AirPods Pro 2. They've got Apple exclusive features like seamlessly switching between Apple devices, the ability to share your audio with another AirPods user, which is a feature that I use a lot, especially with my partner and spatial audio with head tracking that creates a cinema experience when watching movies and listening to music on Apple TV and the music app. These are AirPods exclusive features that are not supported on the Studio Buds Plus. Other advantages that the AirPods Pro 2 has over the Beats is onboard volume controls and a much smaller case. There is a very significant size difference here. The AirPods are simply more portable. And get this, while carrying more battery endurance inside compared to the Beats. Oh yeah, one more point to consider is that the AirPods Pro 2 has MagSafe wireless charging, whereas the Beats doesn't have wireless charging of any sort. So if wireless charging is important to you, this is something else to consider. So there are reasons to justify paying more for the AirPods Pro 2 if you are a heavy iOS user. But how about their call quality? How do they compare in terms of microphone pickup? Right now, we're going to compare their call quality under simulated cafe style background noise and some wind noise coming from this fan. I'm now making a phone call in a quiet place using the Beats Studio Buds Plus. I'm now making a phone call in a quiet place using the AirPods Pro 2. I'm now making a phone call in a noisy place using the Beats Studio Buds Plus. I'm now making a phone call in a noisy place using the AirPods Pro 2 running firmware 5E135. Under quiet conditions, it seems that the AirPods captured more of my voice, so it sounds more natural while I sounded more robotic on the beats. But in noisy conditions, the beats was able to reject background noise better and even block more wind noise than the AirPods Pro 2. Pretty impressive on the part of the beats in terms of call quality. But in terms of active noise cancelling, which is another important area, the AirPods Pro 2 is more effective, as you're about to hear in the following sound samples recorded under the same noisy conditions as before.
if you want to compare the Beats call quality and noise cancelling to other earbuds, do become a member for $1 per month or more. This gives you full access to my personal comparison tool, which you can use to compare earbuds A to B at your own time and at your own pace. Many people have joined up, especially people who simply can't just visit a store anytime to compare earbuds. They know that this is going to save them so much time being able to just cut through all the marketing and compare these earbuds remotely. So become a member like them, click on the link below to find out more. In terms of transparency, the Beat Studio Buds Plus has very good ambient pass-through. But still, the AirPods Pro 2 sounds more transparent because it feels like there's less occlusion and muffling compared to the Beats. There's more clarity of the outside sounds and even my own voice when I'm talking compared to the Studio Buds Plus. So wearing the AirPods in one ear sounded like wearing no earbuds on the other. That's how effective its transparency mode is. Make no mistake though, the Studio Buds Plus still has one of the best transparencies around, just not at the level of the AirPods Pro 2. In terms of sound quality, the Beats is definitely less bassy than the AirPods Pro 2. From the AirPods, I am getting a heavier, meatier sound. Listen to the following sound samples and tell me in the comments what you think. I'll get over you, only wish that I knew how to go on. As you can see in my frequency response sweeps, the Beats Studio Buds Plus is tuned very differently. Less emphasis on bass and mids with a heavy bump at specific points in the upper mids and upper treble to keep that sparkle in the vocals and brilliance in the soundstage. On the other hand, while the beats do sound more thin, it sounds more crisp also, and even a bit more open than the AirPods Pro 2. I do think it's actually closer to a flatter studio type sound. For those of you who prefer that, the Studio Buds Plus are great for that. Otherwise, do consider the AirPods Pro 2 for a thicker sauce in your spaghetti. That's a pretty weird way of saying it. If you like to compare the sound quality of the Beats to other earbuds, visit loudandwireless.com's sound samples page, link in the description. Overall, even if you're on iOS, there are some clear advantages the Beats have over the AirPods, such as its mic pickup quality. It's pretty impressive in very challenging conditions, even compared to earbuds from other brands, something that I've covered in this video. And for ANC, it feels a lot more stable on the Beats, because although ANC seems more powerful on the AirPods Pro 2, for me it loses ANC power quickly because it's not able to maintain a tight enough seal in my ears unless I use foam tips. And this is stating the obvious, if you're on Android, having the Beats app definitely helps with the purchase decision. But the AirPods Pro 2 is surely a more advanced pair of earbuds in terms of features, tech, battery, and all of that in a super tiny, convenient form factor. Also, being able to share my audio with a friend on iOS is also a big Plus, which is why this is still one of my favorite earbuds. But what do you think? Leave your comments below. And also, if you want to check the latest prices on Amazon, I've included links to both earbuds in the description below. Thanks a lot for watching. If you want to see more reviews like this one, subscribe and tap the bell button to stay notified. Smash like and share to show some love. I'm also on Discord, so if you have Discord, come and join the chat. Link is in the description. Now, click here to find out which are the best earbuds 
of 2023 or watch another video from this channel. Oh, and by the way, did you see the secret message 